Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to turn the safe search filter on and off within Google. So I am on my iPhone right now. I'm going to show you how to do it on mobile and then we'll hop over to desktop and show you how to do it over there as well. So what you need to do is go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Uh, so go ahead and open up a version of Google Chrome like you see me do here. And then once you've done that, you're going to see the three dots down there at the bottom. It may be at the top of your screen, but you should see three dots somewhere to uh, go ahead and navigate. And once you tap those, you should be able to access the settings. If you don't know where the settings are, you can just swipe left or right until you find the gear icon that says settings. Once under settings, we want to navigate to where we find privacy and security. If we tap on privacy and security, we're going to see a few different options here. The first thing that I'd recommend to do periodically um, is to clear your browsing data and the cache. Uh, that's a, a very good way of kind of cleaning out things in places that you've been. But then you want to go and tap on something that says safe browsing. And as you can see, I have the standard protection selected for myself. Uh, if you have a kid using this or if you have someone who doesn't know technology very well and you're afraid they're going to uh, hop onto a site they shouldn't be on, uh, you can tap on the enhanced protection option there at the top. And if you tap on the eye with the circle around it, it will actually tell you a lot more about that specific setting if you're worried uh, it's going to do something that you don't want it to do. I leave mine on standard protection and I found that to be sufficient. Now, depending on the version of Chrome that you're using, you may see something here that says use secure DNS uh, and then it should say with your current service provider. There should be another option that uh, to select that says with custom. You can choose with custom, and then on the dropdown, you'll see a bunch of different things like Cloudflare, Google. Uh, I would choose the one that says clean browsing family filter. I'm showing you what that looks like right now on the desktop. So that's how you do it. That's how you enable safe browsing on Chrome. Hop over to desktop now, and I'll show you how to do it over there. All right, here we are on Google Chrome on my desktop. Uh, I've opened up a new tab. I want to find the three vertical dots here in the corner of my screen or wherever that may be located on my monitor. Click on those three dots and then go to settings. Once under settings here, we want to go to privacy and security. It should be on the left hand sidebar here. Once there, I want you to go ahead and select something that says security right here where it says security. And then once you've selected that, you'll see the enhanced protection, standard protection and no protection. I recommend the standard protection unless it's a child or someone who doesn't know technology very well. Uh, and then you can select the enhanced protection if you're worried about that. And then something else I would recommend doing is go right here where it says use secure DNS. Make sure that is enabled by clicking or checking this box here to the right. And then you can go and select the with custom option and then select the drop down menu. And you'll see something here that says clean browsing family filter. If we select that clean browsing family filter there, it's going to block a whole bunch of things that we don't want uh, our kids and children to see uh, from the web browser. So you would do that by selecting the secure DNS option here. Uh, but if you don't really worry about that, then you would just select the normal one here that says with your current service provider and you should be fine uh, if you select you know the enhanced security protection up here. You choose and pick and choose which ones you want and you can read more about kind of what they do. Uh, but obviously with any of this, you're, you know any browsing data is going to be sent to Google. So if that's something that is worrisome to you, then understand that as well. So that's how you turn on safe browsing on Google Chrome. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section down below and I will see you guys in the next video.